Inflate the suit, deflates shoulder jump. Welcome to the show. This is Webmaster Paul for Freshwater Diver 1. It's a convertible one. Oh, right, I always wanted to put in the. Ah, it's got the hard roof on it. That is it. Divers use baby oil or talcum powder around the suit seals Just like James Bond, take it to help ease the hands and wrists through the very tight but softer, more delicate cuff and neck seals. A scratch of a nail can lead to an expensive repair on these. It's also second nature to feel the seals for any issues while smearing the oil or talc over them. Many divers prefer oil to talc as dusty talc can affect the air release valves in the suit. Got a bad feeling I'm going to get hit by a car here. Fine figure for a man here, you know. <laughs> Me ready. Seasoned buds will realise this is for the benefit of those curious about our sport. And what fun it is dressing up in shiny mm. black rubber gear. Hey. Mm. That's a shoulder dump valve. Yeah, shoulder dump. Suit inflate. And the big zip you need zipped up, don't you? Hell yeah, Roger. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And got the zipping up. I'm going to do the honours on zipping up. That's it, hopefully watertight. Hopefully. <laughs> I left a bit so you won't sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Purging the air out Getting of the, the suit. Ex excess air out and then yep. sink better. See, so a lot slimmer now. Oh, look, he's got money in his pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Is that on your last ratching uh, dive? No, I found that. I wiped it. Though. Found his charabay. The charabay? Aye. Oh, I could have gold. Uh, they must have too much money around there, just <laughs> throwing in the loose chain into the lake. I found a nice ashtray. Ashtray? Then he got a, a wine glass. So. <laughs> yeah, Christmas is sorted. <laughs> I mean, I can't understand why they want to chuck ashtrays into the lake, you know. <laughs> wine glass, you've just had a drink, yeah. you know. No, there's uh, quite a nice dive. Yeah. Yeah, around by the new rings and that. We went in there, then we came out, and we came back round by Shabba Bay. And when we came up, they were standing on the, the balcony. All oh, right. So we just come back around, but like I said, there's glasses and all sorts. Right. I've had beer from um, beer, beer glasses, beer glasses. Yeah. yeah. I found lots of coins, old coins, like fragments piece, pieces, and uh, pieces, and uh, pennies, old pennies. Ah. I found a real nice pack of pin. Yeah. But all sorts. Look at that. Does the pack of pen work alright? Yeah. Alright. Because I was tempted to send it back to them, just how old it was. You said what? I was going to send it back to you know, the, the manufacturers. Alright. To ask them what oh, age God, it would be. Yes. Mm. Never heard anything back. <laughs> mm. Typical. So do you reckon the clip goes to that island? No. Just just goes. Seems to pick Peter out. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. so you get around the edge, then, like you say, when it can't get any further. Yeah, it just sort of goes back into the into the bank. That I yeah. Saw, that I remember. I remember being about 25, 26 meters out oh. there, so towards the island. It gradually comes back up again, you know. Yeah. Well, this is it, yeah, a lot of things. Okay, just slip the weight belt on. Weight belt on? Yeah. 
Oh, you got the uh, braces job, take the pressure off, yeah? No, it's just up and drop and man hasn't got any hips. Right, right, right. But that's too high. Down, uh, you know, we'll get bellies and, and, no, and no hips and they just slide <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yeah, but it's uh, my own design. Yeah, yeah, nifty. Mm -hmm. And it just stopped it sliding. Yeah, sound your neck, mm -hmm. And yeah. it still comes off. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. right. They just over just your all neck. just fall flops off. Yeah. Just come over your head. Yeah. That's it, boy. Yeah. Right. No, I didn't have these high-tech braces when I was there. <laughs> well, I just... It's my own design. I lost a belt, so I thought I'd do something about it. We local divers call this Falling Rocks rather than Stiebutter Crag. Why do we call it Falling Rocks? It's because pebble-sized rocks do fall off the upper ledge and make their way down to you, sometimes knocking your mask and you're wondering, what the heck was that? It's possible the exhaust bubbles that are rising up are disturbing the edges of the overhangs where the pebbles lie. We're not sure, but just something to be aware of when deep below. But I'll point out that none of us have ever been injured by them. Just a bit of a surprise when it happens. It can't fill 240 right, bar. Yeah. Pony's got uh, 200 in. Yeah. That's the contents gauge off the pony. Mm -hmm. 200. And the octopus off rig. Pose for the inflation for the just suit. Yeah. Computer. Yeah. You just see that, yeah. Cheers. <laughs> in integrated into the uh, tank, so I know how much. Yeah, I've got in the tank right. as well as the uh, oh, oh, uh, No, no, it's off the main tank. Oh, right, it's main tank, aye. So it tells us uh, in this bottom corner how much air I've got right, in. Right, yeah. What I've got yeah. left. Aye, oh, different config to mine. Yeah. Ah, oh, so you've got your. Yeah. I'm with you. I just had my uh, Viper on my wrist. Yeah. Coming up to the final hurdle to clear and we're on the beach. An easier great dive is available heading north from the shore here and I'll show you this later. For those wanting to practice jump entries, not the highlighted tree the tree by itself. This is where we do our jump entries. Above, up on the road, you can step onto the wall and do a yeehaw. If you feel up to it, but watch the, the uh, suit seals don't blow off you. Um, so you want to be between where that single tree is and the others further along. Check out the depth of your water below first. Air in, air out, dump, dump there, and the kidney dump at the back. Inflate the suit, deflates shoulder dump, yeah. come up a metre, and it should clear your ears, and then go back slowly back down again. So if it's a five it hurts, go up to four, yeah. and make, make sure that they click. And then, then slowly go down to five again, yeah. then six. Yeah. It's, ju it's just getting your... Uh, your body used to the pressures.
Oh, just Hello. give us a big shout and where you're all from, guys. Liverpool. 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 <laughs> Good stuff. I'm just having a fishing competition here. For this rock face, we'll be heading out to the left side of that island for about six minutes. We'll then gradually turn 90 to 100 degrees to the right, heading back to the shore. Depth will be about 38 meters by now and gradually getting deeper as you close in on this big rock face ending at 43 meters which is the deepest I've seen it. Bear in mind, altitude dive here, so 43 meters does equal 50 meters on air. Trust that compass and watch each other for narcosis, and it's no place for the camera. I only have a short clip, sorry guys, that's thanks to flooding. At least this is fresh water and the camera did survive. Within two meters of the face, you should note a sudden blackness ahead and above you. It's been black to about 99% but this is the extra one that takes it to 100 and in my first visit while I was sweeping the torch left and right looking for this rock face I nearly head butted it 6 inches off it and hopefully you'll spot some rare freshwater sponges during the long ascent upwards I'm quite sure you'll be watching those computer readouts as you rise. It will be beeping for a deco stop soon. Uh, you're now working over this amazing ledge at 15 to 17 meters depth and back towards the shoreline steadily rising as you follow the bottom. You may have seen trout grazing along the rock surface or you may have seen perch as you got shallower with a possible deco stop for 9 meters beeping away. As you continue finning towards the shore, looking for the 9 meter contour, follow this until deco is achieved. Still finning along if you still have air, now rising to the 3 meter mark and more deco while still finning, but this time you're looking for treasure. This is a popular area for tourists, so you can expect coins, gold rings and maybe a phone or a GoPro that possibly some canoeist or paddleboarder lost. And even a visiting dive club will undoubtedly have lost something. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for what they've left behind. You never know. In a few minutes you will come across finer white pebbles and rocks. And that sense that tells you you're back home or at least within 10 meters or so from your entry point. Well done bud. There are several ways to plan this dive. Surface fin for six minutes, then descend and head to the left side of the rocky outcrop is one. Or find the top ledge at 15 to 17 meters depth and descend the rock face from there. <laughs> in an hour. How long's it been? An hour. No. An hour?
the other cracking dive site from this beach is for those in training or wishing to increase experience. This sees you heading north northeast for this one and with your target depth of 15 to 22 meters where you'll come across a rock face. It's another pleasant dive into a small attractive bay on your left which few get into apart from anglers. Here you'll be able to pick up some fishing tackle treasure lost by the anglers. Seen this line? Yeah, one way over there. I think it was the same one we did yesterday. Yeah. We tried to push it across one. Yeah, come on. We didn't see any more at all. There's four little ones. Did you not see them? Oh yeah, the four little ones. Yeah, and there's that little tiny one hidden in the rock about two inches long. That touched it. It's fallen off. Yeah. And it's fallen this way. Yeah. <laughs> Just hold the head. Okay, we'll go back in later and try and rip it off. <laughs> Oh, so these buds are from Eden Valley Divers <laughs> Club. Yeah. Part of Scott Sack. So, yeah, we set up a while ago now and I just got a few. Yeah. A few trainees and just keeps us busy and, you know, there's no politics. Yeah. We don't like politics. No. And, uh, yeah, just good point. <laughs> bloody good point. It's too much politics in the world. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we join forces with... Um, East, Eastwood Divers, they're part of Scott Sack as well. There's a few clubs in Scotland. Yeah. Because they struggle with fresh water, so we, they come down here and we show them all this rubbish. That's basically. right. Because <laughs> it's, not, it's not that exciting, but they, they struggle with fresh water. And yeah. then they take us up there, or, you know. What's the thing, I think? For salt water and shows the different dive sites that uh, yeah. quite likely we wouldn't find if it wasn't for them. Yeah. Which works quite well. Very good. Yeah. Chloe and I'm Dave. Yeah. Chloe and Dave, right, yeah. right. Two Daves actually. To join <laughs> our club you've got to be called Dave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember the one club. This is Webmaster Paul from Freshwater Diver One on YouTube. Thank you for your likes, subscribes and shares. Those are very much appreciated. You're welcome to leave your comments below. We love reading them. Thank you.
Ja, rồi, em rồi.